So we're back down at the historic Carmel Mission, this time obviously during construction. When we were down here before, it was before construction, on the last day of our laser scanning efforts, and we told you guys that we would come back down during the course of construction to kind of update you on what we were doing. So we've done that, we're back here today to show you the outcome of the modeling that we did from the scan data and to talk about those successes. There are several reasons that the laser scanning was helpful uh, for the detailing of the wide flange beams above the Cantonary Arch. Um, one, our BIM department was able to forecast some uh, deflection and crown in the roof that we would not have otherwise seen. Um, by forecasting that, we were able to make adjustments in elevation to the beams. Um, we were able to make adjustments for straps to receive other members. Um, and it was just, uh, we were also able to fabricate those wide flange beams before any roof members were taken apart or any of the demolition was done. And it was a huge time savings for us in the field. All right, so we're back up in the attic. We just finished talking to Mike Harney. Um, was telling you about all these members for the, for the trusses. This was all completely detailed, um, you know, modeled from the scan data. Including these, uh, including the plates. No two of these plates are the same because the, the angles on the trusses are all different. And you can even see on these members here, these are our piece marks from our shop drawings we produce for them. So, um, you know, you can see, you know, the space doesn't look that tight here, but it's pretty hard to get, you know, full lengths of lumber up here. So having these guys be able to prefabricate everything and bring it in in these lengths and just come in and install it and be done, has, it's been a huge success. Um, we don't have one of the wide flange collectors in here, but again, um, like Mike said, um, you know, being able to detail that stuff ahead of time before the roof was opened up, if we hadn't have done that from the scan data, they would have had to wait till the roof was taken off and opened up to even get any detailing done to get the length of those. So we were able to do all of that, but then in addition to that, find those situations Mike was talking about with the roof where we had dips or crowns in the roof and, and we had some that were as bad as, you know, where we would have collectors sticking out of the roof by like three inches. And so that obviously wouldn't have worked when they set those in. So that would have really brought things to a halt and you'd have to get the structural engineer involved. And so to find that stuff all ahead of time and have all those collectors dialed so that they went in and set and fit the first time around it's just significant value in that. And then, you know, I'd like to just say that, you know, from a standpoint of the, the mission folks here being able to use what we're doing as well for fundraising, we're just really extremely pleased that we've been able to offer this kind of value to the client, you know, to, to even have it have that type of an effect for them beyond even what it's doing for us in terms of lightening our load on the structure per se for the people working on it. So, uh, you know, you're going to see more videos from us. We're going to be talking about new ways to use our technology. Uh, maybe not on this job, but for sure on other projects. We're always looking for new ways to apply our technology.